Hello YouTubers, it's Champion DJK coming at you again with another weekly video and hoo hoo hoo. Oh man, I just dropped some stuff. I hauled it in this week. All right, seriously hauled it in. Um, most of the stuff actually I picked up today um, and there is a ton of it here, no doubt. Um, <laughs> just was a pretty insane week. Um, Work-wise, was pretty insane. Uh, I got some really cool mail, and um, yeah, I don't think I found uh, the only thing I found in store actually was this right here, this new um, Hot Wheels Exotics five pack. So I was pretty excited to get that. Uh, there it is, right there. Um, really cool cars in this pack, so I was excited to pick that up. And uh, we will open this five pack in the second uh, segment of the video. So really cool um i got some mail including this right here yeah buddy that is another auto world raw added to my collection and this one came to me um really really sweet deal from a really cool friend of mine um who goes by skdc underscore murder underscore mitten um, on Instagram, um, a lot of you probably know who he is, big time Auto World fan, and um, yeah, he gave me a really good deal on this Ultra Raw. This is actually from License Premium Release 3, which is a tough release to get anything from as it is, let alone get a Raw from it. So we're going to take a close look at this in the second segment of the video. I'm super excited about getting that. Thank you so much, bud, uh, for hooking me up with that. Uh, really, really appreciate it. I also got some mail from none other than Travis. Heavy Metal 164. Y'all know who he is. If you don't, you got to know who he is. If you watch my channel, you probably watch his channel. I mean, that's, I think, somewhat a given. Um, if not, go ahead and check him out, obviously, because he shows great premium diecast. And uh, anyway, he sent me a box. I sent him my side of like the trade or whatever a week ago or so, and then I got mine this week. Um, it included this ultra red right here, uh, this Impala. Uh, this Impala is actually a hobby exclusive release. This is the ultra red of it. I did actually already have it carded, but I never opened it. And then he uh, hooked me up with this loose one. So the carded one's gonna stay carded and it might just get hoarded. I don't know, or I might just trade it for another ultra red that I'm missing. So that's really awesome. We'll take a close look at that in the second segment. And then the other part of the box was he sent me some green light castings, um, motor world castings mostly, uh, but stuff that's actually quite tough to get a hold of. And I'm kind of surprised actually that he gave up this stuff. Um, but very happy that he did. Uh, first of all, this is a regular green light release, but it's an older one. It's got a green post of it on it. Uh, this is the uh, 2000, it was a 2006 Dodge Challenger concept in orange, hemi orange, and it looks really awesome. Great quality green light piece. It's a green post green light, so it's an older one. And uh, we'll take a close look at that in the second segment of the video, of course. And then the other ones are Motor World castings. Now, I showed this one in last week's video. I got one carded. Now I have one loose, so I don't have to open up that carded one. And I might end up trading it. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it. Uh, but this old 442, so stoked to get that one. And then uh, this Porsche, uh, what is it? Porsche Cheyenne Turbo this thing right here this is kind of a weird one it's got plastic tires um, these motor world castings have plastic tires plastic base they're originally high speed castings uh, maybe not a lot of you are familiar with that but the original green light motor world castings were all toolings that they got from a different company I really don't know the whole story behind it so I shouldn't comment too much but uh, this Porsche right here so that is really cool to get and then uh, Lambo Lamborghini Gallardo. I already had one of these in yellow, but now I got it in this blue color. I would like to get all the releases of this that exist. So this is one step closer to that. So I'm excited for that. Of course, we're going to look at those close up. And then this one is just fantastic, actually. This Jaguar. Uh, this Jag 
seeing it uh, in pictures and stuff just didn't do it really any justice. It's actually a really high quality casting. It's got rubber tires, it's got lens detail in the front, and of course we'll look at it close uh, in the second segment of the video, but it's actually really awesome. And that just gets me closer uh, to getting every tooling that Greenlight has put out, which is kind of how I'm collecting Greenlight, and I've mentioned it a bunch of times. Um, <clears throat> so I'm really happy to get that stuff. I got that stuff in the mail, um, of course, in that Exotics 5-pack I got in the store, which is the only thing I found in the store this week. Uh, but as you can see, I got a pile of stuff right here. Uh, this stuff I actually got today uh, from a local buddy of mine. And uh, it's a local buddy of mine that buys collections. And I showed a massive haul from him uh, last month. It was the, also the video before my monthly meet video, uh, which is great because he gets like a refresh of stock. And then he kind of lets me and my buddy Crazy Todd kind of look at it and whatever. And we check it out and uh, pick some stuff from it before he shows up to the local meets and stuff like that. And he, me and him kind of go uh, way back from when I first started collecting uh, Hot Wheels. So it's pretty awesome that he, he lets me take a look at some stuff and pick out some stuff. Um, so I just got a massive amount of really cool items uh, from him. And I'm going to show you all of them right now. I'm not going to open all these in the in the second segment of the video. Reason being is because they're going to be become part of 10 Car Tuesday episodes and all of that. And also because there's just too much to look at that we would it, the video would be hours long. So we're not going to do that. Um, I might pick out a couple of them to open in the second segment, but uh, the majority of these are going to be saved for a later date. But we will go through them here, and I will kind of briefly show you them right now, um, including this one. Uh, first, this is a Pontiac GTO Super Stocker from the Classic Plastic series from Johnny Lightning. And there it is. It does have a white base, so that can only mean one thing. It's got to be a white Lightning. At least that's my guess. I've, I've never seen the regular one. This one has a white base. It's got white hubs and a white interior. Now, I know the the standard release does have the white hubs but i'm guessing it has a different color interior and a regular color base but this one's got the white base white interior so it's got to be a white lightning um, this one i will keep in the collection and i will definitely open it up maybe in the second segment of this video maybe it'll wait for a 10 car tuesday you'll just have to stay tuned to find out a uh, couple of coca-cola cars actually let's see here a few coca-cola cars couple of vipers there's those two right there pretty sweet pretty awesome so those two coca-cola vipers those will probably become part of a 10 car tuesday episode and then a couple of vans johnny lightning vans i think i have one of these i might have this one i'm not sure i may have that one i don't recall if I have it or not. I didn't get the chance to even look because literally I picked this stuff up today and then uh, I went out to eat with the family and all that stuff and now I'm coming home now Friday night and just in filming this video without uh, looking into it. So these I won't open because I'm not even sure if I already have them or not. I'll have to take a look. Just haven't got a chance to look. But this one right here, this is the uh, Ford Conaline and then uh, this is the GMC. I don't think I had this one but pretty awesome to get those two and more Johnny Lightning um, let's see here this one's really cool and actually I think we will open this one up in the second segment because I'm just not going to be able to wait to get this open uh, this is in the classic gold series release 35 this is a 71 Chevy Vega Pro Stock and it just looks awesome in this green color it just looks fantastic so we'll slice this one open uh, for the second segment of the video, and I will show this one off. Super stoked because I got the meat tomorrow, which means I'm going to haul in again. I've just been doing pretty good. And these prices that are on here, just five bucks a piece, which is a good deal for a lot of these Johnny Lightnings anyway, is not what I paid. I'll tell you that straight up. But he always gives me a good buddy deal, and I always appreciate it. This next one is the uh, 65 Pontiac Catalina 2 plus 2. It's a cool casting. Definitely don't have this variation of it, so we will 
won't be checking this one out. This one's going to go into a 10 car Tuesday Johnny Lightning video. Um, Hummer H2. Another cool casting from Johnny Lightning. Really, really cool. My Johnny Lightning collection is just getting <laughs> really robust. It's getting pretty ridiculous, actually, for how much stuff I had. I didn't even realize how much Johnny Lightning I had until I started putting together this wall back here and then realized, wow, I do actually have a ton of it. Uh, this one's really cool, too. This is a 79 Ford Mustang in a really cool color. Um, just a really cool car. This one's going to be reserved for a 10 Car Tuesday episode as well. Um, then we got this one here. This one we will open up in the second segment. This is actually a Racing Champions. Uh, Racing Champions Hot Rod Magazine. And it is a 77 Firebird in this cool, like, wild green looking color. It's kind of set up for drag racing. It's got the pizza cutters in the front and some uh, fat meats in the back. And it's pretty cool, and we will take a look at that in the second segment of the video. And then I picked up a couple of green light. Um, I didn't really, for the price, I just couldn't turn them down. I didn't necessarily need any of these three, uh, but I did pick up another Big Lebowski. I already have this car. I've got it loose. Um, it's just an awesome, I love the movie, Big Lebowski. It's one of my favorite movies of all time. So I had to grab it uh, just because it was... He gave me this for three bucks, so it's like I couldn't leave it behind. And uh, so I had that. That one I'm not even going to open up. I might just save it just because it's the Big Lebowski and I'm a huge fan of the movie. And then um, two 78 Corvettes, one from Dallas, the TV series right here. I think we will open both of these up, and I'm just going to hang on to them. So Dallas, the TV series, I didn't have. I have this Corvette tooling. I didn't have this one from this. Uh, Greenlight series, and then this one is from uh, Greenlight Muscle Series 6. So it is an older one, but it does not have a green post. Uh, this is actually number 2500, and it looks like it comes with some a tire rack, so that's kind of interesting. But we will open up this one in the second segment, so it's the same casting as that Dallas one. We'll take a peek at that too. All right. So lastly, and I kind of burned through these somewhat quick, but lastly, we got some Hot Wheels, okay? Uh, again, I'm not sure which ones of these I actually already have and already don't have, so I just, I didn't have time to, like like I said, I was in a rush. I didn't really have time to, to figure it out. I just was like, okay, it looks cool. I'm going to grab it. I'm going to grab it real quick. And they were really inexpensive, and I got some really cool cars. So this one is the 67 Pontiac GTO. Okay, these are going to show up in 10 Car Tuesday episodes. I got the Lamborghini Veneno in red. This one I'm almost 100% positive that I already have. Uh, Pagani Huera in red. I don't think I have this one. So there's that. Um, then a couple of Ford Thunderbolts. I don't think I had either one of these. I think both of these are new to the collection. So this is a casting I kind of loosely collect and kind of want to try to go after every variation of is this Thunderbolt. So got to have them. Pick those two up. Uh, Toyota 2000 GT. I don't think I had this one in red. And I think this is the alternate to the Super. So this is the regular. Uh, there was a Super Treasure Hunt. I think it was this year for this Toyota. Uh, but here it is in red. So I picked that one up. And let's see here. I picked up a couple of Firebirds. This is this a Snowflake card? Yeah, it's got to be. This red one right here. This might have been a Target exclusive. I'm not entirely sure, but uh, I don't think I have it. So this bird, I picked up that. And then these two birds, I might already have these two, but I'm just not sure. So two variations of that. I'm pretty sure I have the silver one. I don't know about this one on the bottom. So picked up those two. And then I picked up this 84 Pontiac. This is just the casting I don't think I ever really paid attention to ever seeing. It's an interesting one. Uh, but picked up that one too. And then um, let's see here. A couple of GTOs. Uh, Pontiac GTO Judge in blue. 
This one I'm not entirely sure if I already have or not. But grabbed it anyway. Because it was cheap. And it's a GTO. And then this one I'm pretty sure I do not have. This is a 67 Pontiac GTO Faster Than Ever 2010. And I don't think I had that one. I don't know. Are these Snowflake cards? Or is this just the way they were? This one's got... I don't know when Snowflake cards started. But they have snowflakes on them. And Snowflake card was a thing that uh, Target was doing back in the day. And I didn't even notice that until now. That they got this winter theme going on. Which is actually quite appropriate because we're supposed to get a bunch more snow tomorrow, Saturday. So, Which is today, if you're watching this video. Because that's when this is going to publish. And then the last three are actually ridiculous. Um, starting off with this one right here. <clears throat> this is a 70 Chevy Chevelle. And I don't know if you can see that there, but it is missing something. There is no tampo on that side. And I know just the person who is going to want this. Um, this is going to that Hot Wheels Hunter. Uh, I know you collect this casting. I collect this casting too, but I don't collect errors. And uh, I think you might enjoy it more than I will. So that goes in your pile over there. And then I got these two. Bugatti, Varens. This one up here, the satin red one, is a Walmart exclusive. The one below it is not. Both of these cars are somewhat sought after. And I got them in my collection now. So that was pretty awesome. I didn't have either of these two cars. I've got most of the variations of the Bugatti Varen. I'm just missing the, now I'm just missing the Speed Machines one and the white Mystery Model one. I think it's the only two I'm missing, uh, but super stoked to get those two. And that's it, but still quite a massive haul, big time. And I'm super stoked to get all this stuff. So we're going to look at a small amount of it in the second segment of the next video. The rest of this will be put into 10 Car Tuesdays. And yes, these will be put into 10 Car Tuesdays and I will open them up. I'm not going to leave them carded, and I know that might hurt some people's feelings, but uh, I don't buy cars to keep them in the card. If they stay in the card, they get flipped, and I'm not flipping these. I'm keeping them. So that's that. Let's go ahead and flip the camera around. I uh, hope you enjoyed this first segment of the video. We're going to take a look at a few things up close, and uh, that's going to be it for the week. So, And I should have a pretty sweet haul for next week, too, considering the fact that uh, I got my, my local meet tomorrow. I got a ton of stuff to price tonight to get ready for it. And, uh, yeah, super stoked. So thank you guys very much. Let's flip the camera around. Let's take a look at some of this stuff. And uh, stay tuned. Okay, so let's start by taking a look at this Auto World Raw. And uh, really happy to have it. This is like the uh, fourth. I think this is the fourth raw in my collection. And uh, never thought actually that I would, you know, I thought at least I would own one raw in my lifetime of collecting Auto World. Never thought that I would have this many of them. Um, so definitely not going to try to get every single one that would just be ridiculous and it would break the bank. There's no way I could ever afford it. Um, let alone even just try to find them all would be near impossible. Anyway, the basics of this car are, aren't that easy to find as it is. So just really stoked, man, to have this. So thank you very much, uh, for this, Brian. Uh, I really do appreciate it. I really do appreciate getting it. It's just a sweet car. It's a sweet one to have a raw of. Just fantastic. Really fantastic. So, super stoked about that. Thank you so much. Let's just take a quick look at it. Um, this is my favorite release of this Dodge Challenger, too, is the release three cars. They just look really, really good, and uh, I just I love it. That's that's fantastic. So I'm super stoked to have that. Thank you so much. All right, so there's that one, and then sticking with Auto World for just a second. Here is that Impala Ultra Red. 
hobby exclusive. This one has an ultra red body as well as an ultra red base, which looks pretty good. And it's just a cool car as it is. Not the most exciting auto world casting maybe for most people, but just a really cool one to have. And I did already have it. Like I said, I had it carded, which is probably going to go into the vault now. And then this will be the loose one that goes on display. So thank you very much, Travis, for hooking me up with that one. All right, so there's that. And then we're going to go into these green light. Let's start with just a standard green light car. This one right here, this Dodge Challenger Concept in Hemi Orange. I, I can't stress this enough, guys. And uh, you know I have mentioned it a couple of times. But the older green light stuff just feels different. Um, the fit and finish of it is different. Like this thing is rolls so smooth, and most green light does not roll like super smooth. This thing just rolls very very smoothly. It's got the green post on the bottom. This is number uh, 5487. I don't even know what series this is from. Probably a muscle series. Uh, but either way, it's a really nice looking version of this car so and this is the only version of this tooling that i have in my collection and it's a good one to have it's a good one to uh to represent this tooling so i am very happy to have this thank you very much travis and then these motor world castings old motor world these are all from like series one or series two so here's the old 442 these are all pretty basic um the majority of them do have rubber tires, but they do have plastic bases. So there's a look at that. Uh, no opening features, so no opening hood or anything like that. But really, really cool to get. I think it's the... They might have released this car one other time. And I, I, other than that, it might have been it. There might have been two releases of this tooling uh, under green light. And that may have been all there was. But cool car. Very cool very happy to have it thank you very much and then we got lamborghini gardo who doesn't like a lambo and who doesn't like a green light lambo uh this tooling actually is fantastic it really stands up to the kyosho version of it which i also have i'm sorry i didn't bust it up for this video but uh it is super nice i've got it in yellow now and i've got it in this blue it's also it has come out in green like a lime green really bright green and then uh, might have been one other variation yet too that i still need to track down but again we got plastic base metal body but this one's got lens details so headlights are lensed taillights are lensed and it just looks <laughs> really good uh, really good. If you if you follow me on Instagram, I just posted pictures I took of the yellow one of this casting uh, to my Instagram. So check that out if you have not already. Uh, so there's that. And then this Jag. This Jag is super cool. You got taillights that are lensed. Headlights that are lensed, detail right up there in the front, rubber tires with tread, plastic base, metal body. It rolls great, it looks great, and it is great. And I think it's the only release of this that exists. Pretty sure it is. So super stoked to get that one as well thank you very much travis and then keep moving along here then there's this one right here um not my favorite of them but it is cool to get and check it off the list very minimal detail you see you get solid paint here for the taillights uh, solid paint for the headlights it's got uh, metal body uh, plastic base and then it's got plastic tires which not a huge fan of that, but some of the older Motor World stuff did have plastic tires. It's still pretty cool, though. I 
I dig it. And uh, so there is that one. So that's the last of the green light. Actually, I lied. I'd have two more green light to go through. This is the uh, Dallas, the TV series, 1978 Chevy Corvette. So we'll take a look at this one. We'll actually pull both of these out. So there's this one here. This one is numbered 10,919, so it's not too limited. This is a very cool tooling of this Corvette. So there's that one, and then there's this one here, the 1978 Corvette Custom from Muscle Series 6, GL Muscle Series 6. This is a fairly newer one, too. Oop, trying to pull that out here. Oop. Just trying to make it convenient. It's got the hood already open. Take a peek at that. Pretty cool. See that wonky wheel in the back, which is indicative of uh, green light of today. This one's a little bit older, so it doesn't suffer from that. Uh, this one is number 2500, nice little even number. And then it's got these weird uh, tires in here. Let's see if I can pull that out. These came with little diorama pieces, and I guess that's what this would be good for. But the tires don't even have, they're just solid pieces of rubber is what it looks like. So kind of goofy, but uh, it is what it is. Still pretty cool to get these two, get these two vets. So those will go in the green light collection. And uh, then we got see this racing champions. I do not get a lot of older racing champions. We'll see how this one fares. Uh, copyright date on this is 1998, so it's pretty old. And what is that? Some just is that a bug? That literally right there, guys, is some sort of dead insect. That little fuzzy thing right there. Yeah, that came out of the package. Interesting, I guess. Uh, but here it is. It's a 77 Trans Am. Like I said, it's got big tires in the back, I guess, and it's got the pizza cutters in front. It's got this kind of wild graphic, 13.64. That's pretty cool. Uh, it's a sub-14 second. And then uh, you got the hood that opens, blower in the front. A lot of times with these, these have plastic bases, too. They feel really cheap. They feel extremely cheap, actually. They're not 164 scale either. They're larger than 164 scale, which is kind of a bother, which is why I really don't go after them. But I got this thing for $3. I could not pass it up. It's a 77 Trans Am, and I wanted to add it to the collection. And it's still kind of a pretty cool looking one. I don't really dig that it has that tiny t those tiny tires in the front. It makes it look a little goofy, but it's a drag racing car, right? So I guess it's appropriate. Pretty awesome. So check that out, what you guys think. Leave some comments down below. Take that specimen out of here, that bug. And then we got one Johnny Lightning we're going to take a look at. And this is this 71 Chevy Vega Pro Stock Classic Gold Release 35. Limited edition collectible. Oop, Just tossing them around. All right, this is a cool Johnny Lightning, though by any standard. Here is it, Classic Gold Collection, R35, 71 Chevy Vega. Build is the little car that grows on you. The new Vega one honors his Motor Trend Car of the Year, an all-aluminum alloy four-cylinder engine cranked out around 110 horses for only $2,000. That's pretty much, that's pretty cool. You can't even get like a MacBook for that. Um, so, pretty cool. But the car, I love it. I love these graphics on it. Look at that, 562, 6.2, Davis and Williams, Cornwall Chevrolet, Uniroyal tire. I mean, this thing is fantastic. Hood opens on it. Hood hopefully shuts on it, and it does. Awesome. This is a really cool Johnny Lightning. That, I don't think that can be denied. I'm going to take some really cool pictures of this particular car. I think it looks so awesome in this, like, livery that it's in. 
I, this is one thing that I really like about Johnny Light is they do stuff like this. And this is just, I mean, hands down, a really cool Johnny Lightning. And already, I think, just by looking at it, one of my favorite Johnny Lightning pieces that I have in my collection. It just looks awesome. It just looks super fantastic. The color is fantastic. The, the wheels and tires look awesome. And it is just <coughs> super cool. All right. So there is that one. And then the only thing left that we have to look at in this week's video is this Hot Wheels Exotics pack. So we're just going to end it on this. Uh, here you go. There's the castings that we're about to look at here. And the, the main one that I'm excited for was the Sesto Elemento in this case. Open it up. Get it open. Now, I think we have seen this Lotus Esprit. I know we've seen it in yellow already, but I think we'll take a look at that one first. So this Lotus Esprit, I think we already have seen it in yellow, just not with these wheels. I think that's the only difference. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure we've seen it in yellow. It might not have been this like metal flake yellow, but it does look pretty good. I like this casting. I'm a fan of it. I'm a fan of, fan of the old Lotus Esprit S1. That's pretty cool. I like that. <clears throat> and then, um, this one's probably my least favorite in the pack, this Aston Martin. Kind of blah. Even the way that they did the tampos are kind of blah. They detailed those headlights up there, but didn't detail the front in favor of a stripe across the top, which really we could do without. And so this one's kind of eh. Don't really care about it. Um, and then we get a couple of Lambos. You get this one here very very cool uh this one is the lambert the gardo um it is the uh what is it the uh super Legera version of it uh this is one of those castings that's pretty neat i think they did retool this with a metal base we've seen it um and it's a cool one it looks good in this color this, this lambo green mantis green Pretty slick looking Lamborghini. Can't argue with it. And then um, this one here is really, I think, the star of the pack. Sesto Elemento in this beautiful wine red color. Uh, you get headlight detail. You get the little Lambo logo up front, black striping. And the color just looks really good for this car. I like this casting a lot. It actually, for 164 scale, I think it's actually pretty close to the correct size um, for this tooling. I think it's actually fairly close to the exact same size as the Kyosha that I've got of the Sesto Elemento. And it's just a cool car. It's a crazy car and uh, really good looking Hot Wheel. One of my favorite uh, Lamborghini Hot Wheels castings. I just think that looks really good. So I love the color choice on that one. And then you get this one, the Pagani Huayra Roadster. I think that's a Huayra Roadster. Yeah. And a uh, pretty good one here, too. Just plain black with this nice red striping, gold tires, uh, headlight detail, kind of copper tone rims, and it looks pretty awesome. So that's going to be it for this video, guys. Um, so pretty cool i mean obviously i hauled it in and i didn't show you all of it in the second segment because it would be way too long for one and plus i can flesh it out into other videos which is great but uh, this obviously is going to be the highlight of the week getting another raw into the collection also a huge fan of getting all those green light cars into the collection in particular this jag was quite a surprise as to how much i actually like it i didn't think by seeing a picture of it that i would really care about it all that much but seeing it in person um this thing it, it's a really fantastically done casting so uh big fan of that and then of course um getting in this this johnny lightning is i don't know that just really trips my trigger i like it all right so that's gonna be it for this video guys thanks for tuning in to another diecast weekly episode you guys all have a great week and uh thank you very much for watching